Welcome back, foodies. Today, we are going to make cheese pies, or taropita, as the Greeks would call it. So let's get into it. All right, foodies, we're going to start with 200 grams of feta cheese, and then we're going to follow that up with 150 grams of ricotta cheese. Some people don't like adding ricotta cheese to their cheese pies. I like how the ricotta gives a nice creamy texture and helps cut the saltiness of the feta so it's not too overpowering. Now let's add 100 grams of Gruyere cheese. Now take two tablespoons of olive oil and add it to the bowl. Now two freshly cracked eggs. Look at those mag cracking skills. Now let's grate some fresh nutmeg into the mix. Not too much, it could be overpowering. Now let's chop up a quarter cup of dill and add it to the bowl. You can go ahead and add more dill if you like. That's enough for me. Now it's time to get mixy mixy. Get those gloves on and let's start mixing. And I forgot black pepper again, so let's add some freshly cracked black pepper. How many videos I forgot to add black pepper? Let me know in the comments below. Now let's give this one more mix so we can mix in the black pepper. Now let's set up our wrapping station. Let's get our phyllo out and put it underneath a wet cloth so it doesn't dry out. Get a pastry brush to brush our oil. Grab a knife to cut our pastries and grab some olive oil. Now let's get wrapping. Let's start with our first layer of phyllo. We're gonna drizzle some olive oil all over it. Be careful not to rip your phyllo when you place it down. Now we're gonna place another layer of phyllo on top of that and drizzle with some more olive oil. Now we're gonna do a third layer. But on this layer, we're gonna drizzle with olive oil and we're gonna brush the olive oil all over the pastry. This is gonna help make sure the pastry sticks together when we fold them. Now let's find our happy medium and give a cut down the middle and let's do the same on each side. Spoon a heaping tablespoon of your cheese filling the bottom corner of one of your cut feeler strips and fold over in half diagonally creating a triangle. Continue folding over onto itself until you reach a triangular shape at the end of each feeler strip. Repeat this with the rest of the feeler strips. Let's clean down our workstation and let's put these onto a lined baking sheet. Drizzle each pastry with some olive oil and we're going to brush that in. It's going to help give it a nice crispy texture. Now place this into a 400 degree oven for 12 to 15 minutes. We're going to flip halfway through and then when they're golden brown, we're going to pull them out and we're going to eat these guys. Here we go, some nice golden cheese pies. These pair really good with some tzatziki, so let's put this right next to them. And uh, you can get a recipe right here in the link somewhere on the screen. Like I said before, sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. All right, let's give these bad boys a try. Let's take this one here on top. Let's give them a crisp crunch. There we go. All right, look at that. Oh, that's hot. Oh, but so good. Nothing is better than cheese and crispy feel of pastry. Oh, there's a bunch of things. I feel like I said that every time, because everything's good. Food is good. Really easy to make, really quick, and you'll impress lots of friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, foodie out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, or as others would say, smash the like button. If you want more exclusive content like behind the scenes, recipes, and much more, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description box below.